Homer and Jethro were the stage names of American country music duo Henry D. Homer Haynes (1920–1971) and Kenneth C. Jethro Burns (1920–1989), popular from the 1940s through the 1960s on radio and television for their satirical versions of popular songs. Known as the Thinking Man's Hillbillies, they received a Grammy in 1959 and are members of the Country Music Hall of Fame. Topic: History. Topic: Early Years. Haynes and Burns met in 1936 during a WNOXAM audition in Knoxville, Tennessee when they were both 16 years old. Known as Junior and Dude pronounced Dude e -E. the pair was rechristened Homer Haynes and Jethro Burns when WNOX program director Lowell Blanchard forgot their nicknames during a 1936 broadcast. In 1939 they became regulars on the Renfro Valley Barn Dance radio program in Renfro Valley, Kentucky. They were drafted into the U.S. Army during World War II but served separately. They reunited in Knoxville in 1945, and in 1947 they performed on WLWAM's Midwestern Hayride in Cincinnati. They sang exaggerated hillbilly styled versions of pop standards as their comedic hook, with Haynes on guitar and Burns on mandolin. They originally recorded for King Records, where they also worked as session musicians backing other artists such as Moon Mullican until a dispute over song credits with label owner Sid Nathan led Nathan to release them from the label. The duo and other stars were fired by new management at WLW in 1948, and after a brief tour, they moved to Springfield, Missouri and performed on KWTOAM with Chet Atkins, The Carter Family and Slim Wilson. Topic song satirists signed to the RCA Victor label in 1949, RCA's country A&R man Steve Scholes suggested they switch their comedy to singing parodies of country and pop hits. Most were penned by Burns, the humorist of the pair. Their parody of Baby It's Cold Outside, recorded with June Carter, became a hit. The song's composer, Frank Loesser, gave them permission to parody the tune with the condition that the label read, with apologies to Frank Loesser. It led to a spot on WLSAM in Chicago in 1950, a tour with bandleader Spike Jones and an uncredited appearance on his recording of Pal Yat Chi, and a number of successful albums. They also served as backup musicians on a number of late 1940s and early 1950s RCA Victor recordings by Chet Atkins and on many other RCA country sessions in Chicago and Nashville. Atkins was married to Byrne's wife's sister. Taking a cue from other comic talents of the era, most of their humor was directed inward, towards themselves. In several notable exchanges recorded on the live album at the Country Club, they intoned that the parade to be given by their fan club had to be cancelled because one of the members was ill, and the other had to work. The implication of course being that there were only two members of such a club. Indeed, from the opening introduction, by Hee Haw stalwart Archie Campbell the humor is towards them, rather than at others. Campbell's intro noted, Ladies and gentlemen, due to circumstances beyond our control, the next act showed up. At one point in the evening, Burns remarked to one of the patrons, Hey, you walking out. Get back in here, you're no better than the rest of them. However, taking a moment to imprint their serious musical talent, they and the other members of the band perform See Jam Blues, to the delight of the audience. Burns was also a talented guitarist, able to replicate the hot soloing he did on mandolin on the guitar. They won a Grammy for Best Comedy Performance, Musical in 1959 for The Battle of Cookamonga, their parody of Johnny Horton's hit The Battle of New Orleans. The majority of their recordings were similar parodies of famous old and new popular songs. One example was their treatment of the old romantic song When You Wore a Tulip, When You Wore a Tulip, A Sweet Yellow Tulip, and I Wore a Big Red Rose. While keeping that line of the chorus intact, the duo's version of its verse told of two lovers sleeping in a greenhouse, removing their clothes due to the heat and humidity, and then having to escape when the building caught fire. To cover their nakedness, the couple wore the flowers. In the 1960s they also recorded a parody version of Lennon and McCartney's She Loves You. Topic. Later years. 
Over time, Homer and Jethro's patter became more sophisticated, giving them access to mainstream audiences on network television and in Las Vegas. On May 12, 1960, they appeared with Johnny Cash on NBC's The Ford Show, starring Tennessee Ernie Ford. In the 1960s they were hired as commercial personalities for Kellogg's Corn Flakes, their Ooh, that's corny. Television spots gave them exposure beyond country music audiences. One relatively notable gig was in November 1966, when they entertained at the grand opening ceremony for the Dixie Square Mall in Harvey, Illinois. Homer and Jethro made several appearances on The Johnny Cash Show during the 1970–1971 season, though they weren't considered regulars. During one appearance, they reprised their old hit, Baby, It's Cold Outside, with June Carter Cash as part of a skit. Both were also established jazz musicians, who were deeply influenced by the European gypsy string jazz of Django Reinhardt. A version of Jethro Burns leading the house band on The Mike Douglas Show, playing Take the A Train, is available on YouTube. Atkins produced many of their later RCA albums including two instrumental jazz efforts, playing it straight and it ain't necessarily square. The Reinhardt style continued to influence the duo's work until Haynes' death from a heart attack in 1971. After Haynes' passing, Burns tried to maintain the duo with a new Homer. Guitarist Ken Eidson, but the effort was short-lived. Burns continued recording and performing solo and with Chicago folk singer Steve Goodman. He died in 1989 from prostate cancer. Haynes and Burns were inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2001. Topic album discography Homer and Jethro Fracture Frank Loesser RCA 1953 Barefoot Ballads RCA 1957 The Worst of Homer and Jethro RCA 1958 Life Can Be Miserable RCA 1959 At the Country Club RCA 1960 Recorded Live in 1959 Songs My Mother Never Sang RCA 1961 at the convention RCA 1962 Playing It Straight RCA 1962 reissued on CD by RCA Japan Jazz Instrumentals Zany Songs of the 30s RCA 1963 Homer and Jethro Go West RCA 1963 Ooh That's Corny RCA 1963 Confucius Say RCA 1964 Fractured Folk Songs RCA 1964 Tenderly RCA 1965 Old Crusty Minstrels RCA 1965 Wanted for Murder RCA 1966 Any News from Nashville RCA 1966 Something Stupid RCA 1967 Songs for the Out Crowd RCA 1967 it Ain't Necessarily Square 1967 reissued on CD by RCA Japan Jazz Instrumentals Nashville Cats RCA 1967 There's Nothing Like an Old Hippie 1968 Live at Vanderbilt U RCA 1968 Cool Crazy Christmas RCA 1968 Homer and Jethro's Next Album RCA 1969 the Far Out World of Homer and Jethro RCA 1972 America's Song Butchers The Weird World of Homer and Jethro Razor and Tie Homer and Jethro Assault the Rock and Roll Era Bear Family Topic <laughs> With the Nashville String Band The Nashville String Band RCA Down Home RCA Strung Up RCA Identified RCA The Bandit RCA World's Greatest Melodies RCA Topic Singles Topic Guest Singles Equals Equals Notes <laughs> <laughs>